1913, the era of women's suffrage. Like most calls for social or political change, this one began with a single voice raised in the pursuit of justice. Others joined, a chorus formed, and the refrain grew louder. More eyes opened, more hearts moved, more justice done. The voices of reformed Jewish women from across the nation gathered in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1913 to form the National Federation of Temple Sisterhoods were among those who had passionately advocated for women's rights. They did so as religious women acting on their tradition's moral imperative to pursue justice. And now they knew they could do more, much more. Almost immediately, NFTS members became aware of how much more resonant their voices were about to become as a federation of reformed Jewish women, working as clearly connected congregations to strengthen spiritual, educational, and community life at home and beyond, living the preeminent Jewish value of tikkun olam, the repair of the world in its many broken places. In those first few moments of the new Federation's existence, they had moved from the temple threshold to its sanctum, and they knew with certainty that they would be stronger together. The organization means to me a culmination of so many parts of a woman's life, uh, of our Jewish community. It is a place that you put into, into practice our Jewish values in a way that impacts our communities at home and our larger Jewish community. It's a group of friends, comrades, colleagues, um, who connect on both the spiritual and the intellectual levels. For nearly a century, WRJ, through the collective power of reformed Jewish women, has kept the promise of the covenant made with God at Sinai to live the commandments and become a light unto the nations. I think that we've empowered women to learn to be advocates and that's on many different levels, to advocate for youth, to advocate for themselves, to do the social justice work advocacy, and, and to learn to stand up straight and tall and say women are strong, women are important, and women have a role to play in making the world a better place. I'm always invigorated when women of Reform Judaism come together. It, we do become inspired and innovative from each other. Uh, we do realize the scope that we have, the, uh, the potential influence that we have, and the women who share that with us. WRJ's mission remains unchanged from its founding nearly a century ago, though it is pursued and expressed differently in an ever-evolving world. When women work together and they have a common cause, they do so much more together. That, that, that's what I see in sisterhood, is the power of a group of empowered women. We raise money. Uh, the major fund that we raise money for is called the Yes Fund. Y for youth, E for education, S for special projects. We support worldwide, we support locally. Then also we support our affiliated sisterhoods, nearly 500 affiliated sisterhoods. We provide programming, we provide materials, um, we raise um, our dues money and, and monies that we raise to be supportive of our sisterhoods and to help women in their local communities live um, Jewishly connected lives. Our Torah commentary, wasn't that wonderful? And look what we have. We have something that's unbelievable. I think it will be accepted 
really as part of the um, real as source work for Jewish life. We have amazing accomplishments. I mean, we built the building, we built uh, the Sisterhood dorm in, on the Cincinnati campus of Hebrew Union College in the 1920s when women were uh, really marching to get the vote and still they raised enough money to build a much needed place for rabbinic students to live. The dormitory, I think, played a very important role in student life because just about everybody lived in the dormitory so that it wasn't simply a commuter school. Um, it did foster a sense of togetherness. The biblical injunction, separate thyself not from the community, has fueled the resolve of WRJ to find powerful solutions for social needs. Throughout the 20th century, and now into the next millennium, WRJ has stood at the forefront of a vast range of North American and global issues. I thought it was important for women uh, to become rabbis because of the fact that they had so much to offer, both in terms of temperament, if that is the right word, in terms of ability, knowledge, which should be as open to them as to any man. I am very proud of the stands that we take on issues, and we go from issue to issue, whether it starts out with w women rabbis and it ends with same-sex marriage. Um, but I'm proud of the issues that we, we take hold of. 65,000 women and nearly 500 women's groups in North America and around the world, living Judaism's eternal values and vision. There's got to be a unity. There has to be an equalization. And there has to be an understanding of the values of our religious convictions. We're going to have to care about each other in ways that are mutually helpful. We can be so proud.